Okay, so to, uh, hi, my name is Ivy, and today I'm going to talk to you about draping for a chemical versus draping for a thermal. So, draping for a chemical like this, this was my color retouch, and I also did some foil placements on the top of the head. So, draping for this, I used a towel, a, or, a, you know, towel, and then underneath that, I used the cape or the drape. And you need something good that, you know, if any chemicals get on it, it's not going to burn the skin. And, yeah, so that's how you drape for a chemical. For a thermal, however, you would take this off, take the towel off, unless, of course, they have a shampoo and condition. Then you would, of course, put the towel on and then take it off after. Without the towel, it's not sturdy. But so for a thermal, I will just use a regular drape and I would just drape her regular, put the drape over, snap it, and then you're ready for the thermal. For chemicals, it's much more. You want to protect the neck with a towel. You don't want any chemical getting past that level of where the neckline is because that can cause harm on the skin. Who's my camera stalling? But yeah.